Welcome back, viewers. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. Joining us all the way from Nigeria now is Dr. Abia Nzelu, the Executive Secretary for Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy. She'll be talking to us about their big war against cancer. Welcome to the show, Dr. Abia. Thank you. Yes. So what is the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy about? Yeah, the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy is an initiative that is co-promoted by the organized private sector including the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Labor Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and some other um, bodies of the organized private sector. And the aim is to unite Nigerians in tackling major societal problems. And so we know that Nigeria is faced with a lot of challenges, and um, the government alone cannot answer all the challenges. So the private sector needs to get involved. And uh, it's a way of promoting collective philanthropy, getting the private sector, the public sector, and the social sector together. And then the flagship call that the committee is focusing on is the big war against cancer in Nigeria. Yes. Which is so I was going to ask. Yeah. I was going to ask about the big war against cancer. Is that your current initiative? Is that what you're currently working on right now? Yes. And yes, what exactly. is that about? Yeah, the big war against cancer in Nigeria is um, uh, aimed at taking cancer prevention to the grassroots. We, you know, there's a lot, a lot of things that are going on. People are trying to tackle cancer in different ways, creating awareness and all that. But we need to have a holistic approach to cancer prevention. And so it's, it's cancer needs to be approached in a big way. So that's why we have the target big war against cancer in Nigeria. And the help is to have a holistic approach and it should get to the grassroots. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah. Um, Dr. Abia, we know that there are different kinds of cancer. How yeah. are you trying to create awareness for all the cancers? Or which cancer are you trying to create awareness for? Now, the big word of cancer is not just about awareness. It's taking uh, awareness, uh, intervention, and uh, treatment to the grassroots. And uh, awareness is, uh, is, a core, is one of the uh, aspects of prevention. At the moment, the focus is on raising funds to acquire mobile cancer centers. Uh, but in the process, a lot of awareness advocacy has been going on. And uh, through the mass media, through different channels. For instance, uh, we have regular radio programs, weekly radio programs, through which we sensitize people. We talk about different aspects of cancer. And um, we have um, recently, this week that just ended was the National Cancer Week, which started from June the 7th to June 14th. During that period, we had um, flyers and posters that had the habits of the cancer free life that had all that. They were sent to all the churches across Nigeria, mosques across Nigeria, schools. So that way, the awareness about the lifestyle changes that people need to adopt are being um, sent to across the nation. And of course, we have different advocacy uh, activities going on. So um, the awareness is something that has been going on. But the key, the core of the, uh, the campaign now is to raise funds to acquire mobile cancer centers. The aim is to have at least one mobile cancer center in each state of Nigeria and then in federal capital territory. So that we are uh, targeted having 37 mobile cancer centers for Nigeria as, as a starting point. Okay, so how do organizations who want to contribute to this initiative join you? Yeah, um, the organizations uh, can give through, we have different platforms for giving. People can give through that transfer. We have the quick tenor platform. And then uh, the capital market has just, uh, uh, they are just initiated a crowdfunding platform through which people can give towards this cause. So it's uh, uh, championed by the United Capital and uh, PRC uh, in collaboration with, with uh, other bodies in the capital market. So they have created this platform, which was just uh, launched recently, and uh, we, we're going to go, uh, publicize, keep publicizing it from now on. So people can give through that platform 
to the mobile data center initiative. Okay. So one may want to ask, why are you not reaching out to the Ministry of Health to support this initiative? Do you think the yeah, Ministry of Health is doing enough? The Ministry of Health, um, as government has its role to play, and of course we have said that the Ministry of Health should play active role in this. But um, the Ministry of Health, uh, fortunately, they are not doing as much. Uh, yes, they are overwhelmed with, with different challenges in the health sector in Nigeria. You know, as we speak, some, some offices are on strike. We have different challenges that the uh, um, federal hospitals, the government hospitals are facing. Uh, well, so, we, um, we need most of the, um, the solutions to most of the challenges in the health sector cannot be left to the Ministry of Health alone. For instance, in the United States, where you have now, you do, you do know that uh, the war against cancer was championed by the American Cancer Society. Which is not the Ministry of Health. The American Cancer Society started in 1913. They started the campaign before the government eventually joined. So the aim of the committee is to um, get the private sector to ask why, why they are waiting, looking at the government to do what they should do. If, when um, we put our house together, we start doing something, the government will eventually join us. Uh, just like what happened in um, India, in India, the first uh, cancer center was established by Tata. So it was the private sector that led, and then eventually the government joined in. So that's the model we are um, following now. Okay. Um, why was cancer chosen as the first focal point of the CECP? Yeah, um, cancer was chosen because it's... Um, we saw the dissertation that cancer has been uh, working in our society. Um, recently, it, most of the prominent Nigerians that died recently in Nigeria died of cancer. Um, cancer uh, in Nigeria, over 100,000 cases are diagnosed every year, about 80,000 die, with a death ratio of about four in five, which is not acceptable. And um, the fact is, it's a good starting point because. Uh, the private sector needs to be um, needs to do something about it because we are losing a lot of human resources, a lot of um, uh, financial resources to cancer. So it's uh, something that because you know, according to the measure, one out of every three person will be diagnosed of cancer in their lifetime, and of course, the diabetes is supposed to is uh, estimated to continue rising. So that is why we uh, are focusing on. Cancer, and you know that, it be, like I said earlier, on, it, it, it focuses not just on cancer, but also on cancer risk factors. So, so that when we are looking at, when we are looking at cancer uh, on its own, there are risk factors that are associated with cancer, and these are also taken care of in the mobile data center, like diabetes, for instance, uh, which is a risk factor for prostate cancer, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, and malaria is a risk factor for this. Most common cancer in children. Hepatitis is a major risk factor for liver cancer in Nigeria. So, these conditions here, about 10 of them, are also targeted with the um, uh, mobile cancer center initiative. Okay, great. And does the CECP have any events coming up soon? We just had the um, Battle of Stars against cancer, which took place on Sunday, okay. the 14th of June. Okay, any other upcoming events? Yeah, um, we, we, the next event is likely to be in October. The, the, in October, you know, the, October is a breast cancer awareness month. Yes. And uh, yeah, so that's, um, but before then, there will be a period of advocacy before um, the October. Okay, do you and have. Have, okay. I apologize. Do you want to finish what you were saying? Oh, yeah, we're hoping that by October we should have a third mobile cancer center. We should launch the third mobile cancer center. In what state? Why? Well, we probably will do that in Lagos. But we are working at it. Okay. We hope that it will happen. Okay, okay, and we hope so too. Um, are there yeah. any other diseases that you think would be a priority to the CECD anytime soon? Like I said, we have 10 other conditions attached to cancer. Diabetes, hepatitis, 
malaria, Ebola uh, disease, hypertension, all these are also risk factors. And HIV is, um, of course, you know, papilloma virus is uh, a major risk factor for a number of cancers, which is somatic. So these uh, uh, diseases are also incorporated. By the way, the Commission on Collective Affairs Finance Summit is not a uh, health, not just a um, it's, it's not just about it. health, exactly. It's not that we are we starting with uh, air related condition, which is a major challenge in Nigeria. Right, okay. Uh, say, uh, yeah. yeah, that so was going to be my, another question. When you say philanthropy, does it only have to do with health? No, no, it doesn't have to. It's not that we are focusing on cancer and because of the enormity of the problem in Nigeria. Now, why we are still stressing the of um, I know the 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 big major cancer is stages. This stage, we are looking at having mobile cancer centers, and then when we are we have accomplished this, we are now going on to uh, work at getting establishing comprehensive cancer centers, at least one in each of the three geopolitical zones. Okay. Now, when we are done with cancer, we are going to look at another problem that uh, we think we should uh, take up, and that the problem that we choose will depend on. Nigerians. Right. When you get to that you are going to go to the media and ask them to um, uh, uh, um, publicize and ask people to choose what they think we should focus on. And so we are going to choose that, choose the method based on popular demand. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Abia. Is there anything you want to add? Well, yeah, um, I uh, just have that uh, we need the support of everybody, everybody that this is something we cannot accomplish on our own. Everyone, everybody has to be involved in it, both uh, Nigerians in the back of us and, the, the, and uh, every part of uh, every sector in Nigeria, we all need to be involved in the fight uh, against cancer. Against cancer. So, uh, yeah. Okay, what's your website? Uh, the website is on www.ccpng.org. Ccpng.org. Okay. And then we also have another website, um, um, givingsite.org. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. That was Dr. Abia Enzelu, the Executive Secretary for the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy all the way from Nigeria, telling us about their big war against cancer. Stay tuned. We have a good show lined up for you.